Furnaces are like Rube Goldberg machines. One part triggers the next. Here's what happens. The thermostat calls for heat. That sends a signal down to the control board so the furnace knows to initiate that call for heat. After it gets that call for heat, it sends power through each of these wires through the safeties to verify it receives power back. After it's checked all those, it sends power to the inducer motor. This kicks on and starts drawing air through the burners, the combustion air, through the burners, through the heat exchanger, and then out the exhaust. During that process, these pressure switches right here close, sending power back to the control board. This is how the brains of the furnace knows so far everything is working properly. After that step, this control board then sends 120 volts up to an igniter back here. That igniter glows red hot. After a short time delay, we get power to this gas valve from the control board, and this opens up and allows the natural gas or propane to flow through this manifold and through these burners. Once the gas hits the red hot igniter, it lights and carries across to the last burner and it bays this flame sensor, just a little metal rod back here. And as that flame sensor is sitting in those flames, it sends a signal back to the control board telling air, the furnace that everything is operating properly. After about 20 seconds or so, this blower then kicks on to start blowing heat around the heat exchanger and heating the home. At Triple T, we look at comfort, operation, reliability, efficiency, and safety. It's not just about fixing something. It's about protecting your home and your family. Have questions about your system? We're always here to help.